Hi, I'm Ian, author of the book, Successful Net Dating, Find Love That Lasts. If you're the kind of girl or guy who's got to the point where you've admitted to yourself that what you really want is to find the right person to have a fulfilling, positive, uplifting relationship that will last the distance, then this book and this video series is for you. A bit about myself, I'm Ian Donald, MBA, I'm a researcher and writer, business strategist, part-time musician, dad, husband, and pretty much an ordinary guy. When my first marriage failed 12 years ago, like so many men in that situation, I was devastated. As I began to recover, I was ready to start dating again. I entered then for me, the new world of net dating. I used my studies and experience in business change management and psychology to create a strategy and plan for my approach to dating. When ready, I applied these ideas. This is how I met my beautiful partner and now wife, Tamsin. We've been happily together for nine years. Men and women I knew were struggling to find love using net dating. Some of these people began to come to me for help and advice. When they found my suggestions helpful, the plan for a book was born. I really believe there's someone out there for everyone who wants the intimacy and loving support of a committed relationship. With the advent of the net, we have the ability to meet a wider range of people than ever before. At the same time, this can be totally overwhelming, and I saw there was a real need for help navigating the confusing world of net dating. Covering your face with uh, sunglasses means that people can't see your face and they can't see your eyes, which is much less than ideal when looking to attract a partner. Looking sad and drinking alone is not a great look at any time, and certainly not one that you want to promote on your profile. Doing the duck face pose really is like putting on a mask and it hides what's underneath and so is not desirable to use in your profile pictures. A completely blank expression also serves no purpose. Like the duck face, it's a mask and has no place on your profile. Drinking with friends is fine, but it may not be the image that you want to put out there, particularly to prospective partners. Covering part of your face gives a closed impression, which is not something we want to relate to prospective partners either. Selfies are not a good idea to use on your profile, and this is because they are taken by you. They are not taken by your friends and family who have your best interests at heart, who see you when you're truly happy, when you're at your best, with your hobbies, sports or children, family, and it's these times that actually make the best photographs, the happiest photographs and the photographs which are most suitable for using on your profile. Semi or partial nudity is not a great idea, but it does depend upon the impression that you want to create. Now we'll have a look at some more suitable profile pictures and how you might take them or get them taken for you. One way to get some great pictures for your profile is to ask a good friend who knows how to use a camera to take lots of photographs of you doing something that you really enjoy. Another option is to buy a cheap point and shoot camera and uh, ask people at family events, uh, friends and family to take lots of pictures of you. So then uh, you will get some suitable photographs uh, that you can use on your profile. If neither of these approaches are suitable, you can use a professional photographer. Make sure you ask for some examples of their work. It's important that you avoid the stiff, posed stage photographs that some professional photographers prefer. You need to find a photographer to bring out and capture the inner, happy, beautiful you in pictures for your profile. All of the photos here show something of the inner person, their inner state, and are most suitable to use on a profile. My book, Successful Net Dating, Find Love That Lasts, is now available through Amazon on Kindle. Thanks very much for listening uh, and for your time. And I hope you've got something useful uh, from it. If you have, please give me a like and I'll look forward to speaking to you on the next video. Thank you.